Okay, introduction to servos. What is a servo? A servo is basically a little electrical motor um, that rotates. And the rotation is typically 180 degrees. Um, you can get servos that will rotate more, but typically you only get 180 degrees. So I'm going to get my servo right here under the basics right here. And I'll actually show you what 180 degrees looks like on the servo. But when you're making robots, servos are very important because every part that moves is a servo. So let's say the robot that you're making is going to be human form. Well, the neck needs to be controlled by a servo. It's the ability to turn from the right all the way to the left. That is 180 degrees. Um, your servo would control the neck. If you wanted um, an uh, a shoulder, one shoulder to move, you need a servo for the shoulder. If you want the elbow to move, you need a, another servo. So that's three servos there. If you wanted the other side, the other arm also to move, shoulder and elbow, that's two more servos. So you're now at five elbows, or sorry, side, five um, servos. Now, the more movement you want, the more servos you need and it gets a little more complicated. So we'll just start with what to do with one servo. So let's start off with this little guy. Now how do you hook the servo up? We're going to need positive and negative power. So let's go get positive power from the ground. And we will go back here and get, sorry, this is negative power, my fault. Ground is negative power. And we'll hook it right in here, make everything negative there. So anything that needs negative power, we'll use this line right here. Uh, positive power, we're going to use the 5 volt for that. So let's make that a red wire. And 5 volt here, there, let's go here, and up to here, and then over here. Alright, so now we got positive and negative power here and here. Okay, so first we need um, ground, so that's a negative power. So let's make a let's get a black wire and go from ground up here, and now he has the negative power. That's good. The next one is power. That's actually positive power. So let's get a red wire and connect him to. Good old fashioned positive power. There we go. The last one is signal. This one actually does the controlling. We're going to get the signal directly from the Arduino. We have many choices to use any one of these for signals. I want to use um, tilde 11. And let's make this wire green. So from tilde 11, let's move this up a little bit. Okay, tilde 11 here. And let's go over here and right about there. Oh, right down here. All right, now he has control from tilde 11. So let's go to the code and go to the outputs. And we have a servo output right here. Servo, let's put it in here. And we have pin 11 that we're using, so let's change this to pin 11. Okay, and it changes in degrees. Now, right now, zero degrees, you can see it's um, vertical here. Start simulation, it doesn't move. But if I were to change this to 180 degrees, 180, let's see what 180 degrees looks like. Start simulation, and now it moves to 180. And that's about as far as you can go. If I were to put 190 in here, it would just look at me like I'm crazy. It wouldn't do a thing. goes to 180 again, doesn't go any further. So 180 is about as much as we can use here. Okay. So um, what we want to do is we want to get this servo to move back and forth. 